It's the gun show. <laughs> <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Yep. Uh, <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> Hello. We want to share with you what a sample day looked like when we were first starting out losing weight and we were losing weight at least about a when we were losing about a pound to two pounds a week steadily and all we did was make small changes like switch to from white to whole grain do low fat dressings lower sugar options cut down on the soda pop yeah cut down on on pop add more water we didn't really take away any of the we didn't take away anything actually we just made healthier versions lighter versions of our favorite foods we still we knew we still had to like the food mm -hmm. that's the key to portion control having it last enjoy enjoy and eat the foods you like yeah because you're only getting you know you're not getting as much as you used to so they have to be enjoyable foods you have to really love it and we looked forward to every meal every day and we couldn't believe we were losing weight eating what we were eating. So I'm gonna show you a typical day, and it inc I'm gonna give you a spoiler, it includes french fries. Yeah! So, hello! <laughs> <laughs> so first I'm gonna start with breakfast, and breakfast is was a, and still is actually, a protein pancake with a quarter cup which looks like this, of egg whites, which is two egg whites. It's very simple too. That's the other key to this. Um, we tried the complicated diets or the cooking, you know, gourmet meals every single day and it's just not sustainable for busy people like us. So no. it has to be very simple recipes too. This pancake literally takes me two minutes to whip up. Sometimes I prep it in advance, but I've been making it every morning the last few days and it literally takes two minutes to whip up and, and then a couple minutes to cook. A whole egg with a quarter cup of egg whites, a small pinch of baking soda, a small pinch of baking powder, a little splash of vanilla, a little shake of cinnamon, a tablespoon of unsweetened applesauce, and half a cup of steel cut oats. I mix that all together and I pour it in the pan and then I sprinkle five sugar-free chocolate chips on top. This is the Crisda brand, I think that's how you say it, and they are stevia sweetened. So they are sugar-free with two of the poly uh, sugar alcohols. Which are just carbs, basically. Yes. So it's a great sweet little treat and then I top it with a tablespoon of no sugar added syrup. So protein pancake with chocolate chips for breakfast. So again, pancakes, like regular pancakes used to be our favorite with chocolate chips. We made a healthier version and we and, lost weight eating these. And it's made with steel cut oats, which are slower digesting and include more fiber and help you stay fuller longer. The chocolate chip satisfies your sweet tooth and the eggs provide you protein. So it's like almost a perfectly balanced meal. You're just missing fruit, which you can add if you want. But fruit is in our next one. Small apple and a tablespoon of light peanut butter for a snack. Oh, this is one of my favorites. That's one of mine too. You cut it up and you dip a rooney, your apple slices into peanut butter. So good. <laughs> <laughs> we usually try to also, I'll, we'll add this and we usually try to spread our meals two to four hours apart. Yeah. You know. To eat steadily to keep your blood sugar steady and your metabolism revving. And you know, keep it to as close as that as possible. We know you, like we're not robots, right? But no. two to four hours every meal. And then lunch. Lunch, a sandwich. Ham is one of our favorites. We use the extra lean Black Forest ham. This, I always check the back for the serving size. This one is four slices is a serving. That's another tip guys, when you're doing portion control, 
it's all the information is usually on the containers of, or the packages of all the foods. It tells you how much a serving is. And it really helps when you're first sort of learning and feeling your way around. You can look pretty much on anything and if you can't find it and you Google it, it will tell you what a portion is of that item. Like if you're not sure how big of an apple to eat, Google what a, you know, how many servings is in a big apple. You can do that and it'll tell you online. And also like if you're getting overwhelmed, look at the packages. It tells you how much to eat. Yep. So ham, usually don't need four slices. I, we usually did like two or three slices actually. It surprised us actually how much, how much? you get. Yeah. So I mean you can have the four, totally go for it, but we usually did two or three slices and we used to do the whole, just normal whole grain bread. However, I really enjoying the whole grain sprouted bread now. I feel like it keeps me less bloated and leaner. When we first started, we didn't get this in Canada. So we just used the whole wheat. And if you can't get this or it's too expensive or whatever, get any whole, whole wheat grain, bread. Whole grain, any whole grain bread is totally fine. Two slices. I like, I enjoy it and so does Kyle, toasting it and then putting Two, uh, two teaspoons on the bread, so one teaspoon of light margarine per bread, and then putting the ham, cutting it, you gotta cut it on an angle, and that's how you and I'm a sandwich. And I'm a mustard guy, and the great thing with mustard, there's zero calories, zero sugar in mustard. Nicole doesn't like it, but I also add mustard to that. You could swap out the light margarine for light mayo as well oh, if yeah. you wanted. We did that but, too, actually. But uh, I like margarine, I'm a margarine girl myself. Then on the side, a cup of baby carrots and a cup looks like that. So you do get quite a bit. And we dipped the carrots in light ranch dip. And the serving size for the light ranch dip is two tablespoons. You get a ton of it's dip. Quite a lot. If you've never it's measured or portion <laughs> controlled, two tablespoons of dip for a cup of veggies is a lot. It's great. I have dip usually left over. And it's like, wow, you feel like you ate a ton and you feel satisfied and you have some left over and you're like, whoa, I'm totally doing this portion control thing and it's awesome. It's really cool. Then for another snack, okay, I really, in the beginning, it was very difficult to go from sugar flavored yogurt to plain. So we learned how to flavor our own and I liked making chocolate yogurt. So half a cup of this, and this is what half a cup looks like again, of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. We prefer the Greek because it has more protein. And we get the plain uh, because of the reason I just said, if you get flavored yogurt, it typically has more carbs and sugar. The plain has less carbs and sugar and you can flavor it yourself with very low sugar and carbs to add into it. So half a cup of the Greek yogurt, and I would do a teaspoon of cocoa powder. You gotta get the Hershey's because the Hershey's is the best. It has the best chocolate flavor. So a teaspoon of Hershey's, and either half or a teaspoon of no calorie sweetener. We use this Stevia, and just depends on your taste. Sometimes I do half a teaspoon, sometimes I do a full teaspoon, and five raw unsalted nuts and I'll just show you this is a mix it's got pecans walnuts there's macadamia nuts in there almonds I just grab five of whatever I want chop them all up throw them in and then the best part not only do you flavor your yogurt with the sweetener and the cocoa powder I take half a cup of frozen berries this has raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. You can take any, you can do strawberries, whatever you like. Put it in a contain in your yogurt in a container overnight in the fridge. Let the berries thaw. Get their juices in the yogurt and then you got berry chocolate berry flavored yogurt. <laughs> With nuts. It tastes like like a yogurt parfait of heaven, like a chocolate yogurt parfait. It's so delicious. So that's your snack. Then we're gonna go to dinner. I told you about the fry. You're about to get down. <laughs> <laughs> so 
go. Mini pizzas. Or you didn't tell us about the pizza too. I wanted to keep something a surprise. Pita pizza. We loved these. Sometimes we use English muffins, but I love toasting pitas like this because it gets really crunchy yeah. and it's super delicious crunchy. Whole wheat so pita. These are just six inch whole wheat pitas. You can get any brands. And they're like a medium size, I'd say. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, like don't get the huge ones that are like twice the size of your head, but get like, you know, yeah, because there's like the medium, size. there are smaller ones that look about the size of this. Yeah. So you want to get just a little bit bigger. I believe they're called six inch yeah. pitas. So a six inch pita, uh, about a tablespoon of sauce. Sometimes we use light Alfredo sauce. Sometimes we use normal pizza sauce. It totally depends on what you'd like. You can get pasta sauce. We did too sometimes. Sometimes we did pasta sauce. And if you prefer like barbecue sauce or something, you can find a sugar-free barbecue sauce and use a tablespoon of that as well. Whatever sauce you prefer, just a low sodium, low sugar one. And top it with whatever you like. We do anything from ham, chicken breast, any lean protein, turkey pepperoni, any lean protein, whatever you want. We even did lean, and, lean ground beef too. Yes, we have and made sort of like a taco type pizza. Yeah. Any veggies you want, top it with whatever. Sometimes we did olives, peppers, onions, you name it, whatever you like. And then light cheese. This is light mozzarella and a serving size is a quarter cup and that actually covers the whole pita really well. quite nicely and you feel like you're eating a nice cheesy crispy pizza and i'm not even a thin crust person and i love eating pizza on those thin pitas and if you don't have a toaster oven you can throw them in the oven it'll toast up in the yeah oven. i Quick, i bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for like eight to 10 minutes until you like it. And if you want the cheese like brown and crispy and bubbly, just broil it the last minute. And if you're like us, you like food and you don't like waiting because all these things are quick. Like that pizza can take you five minutes to make. It's super, super quick. And then as a side dish, French fries, a serving of any kind that you like, these ones, we Are, lived off of frozen french fries for the first six months, eight months. Some of them, you can only have like 12. And we did literally count it out the 12. These ones, what I love about these is for one serving, you can have 47. These are what you would call the shoestring style yes. french fries. Um, I'll even pull one out and show them. So you can have 47 of this size. About that size, yeah. And I'll just tell you, for 47, it's 160 calories and 8 grams of fat. So for, for, for like 50 french fries, that's a really good deal, man. <laughs> You're getting your money's worth, man. And 22 carbs, and there's 2 grams of fiber in there. That's nuts. I got no, so it's, excited. No, it's french fries. These are nuts. Here. <laughs> See? Nuts. French fries. I got so excited when I seen these. So pizza and fries and then salad, any type of salad. We're currently into baby spinach. We really liked the um, the iceberg bagged salad. The mix with in the, the little beginning. carrots and cabbage and stuff in there. Yeah, but currently we're into the baby spinach. Two cups. Get whatever like you like. Get romaine. Get whatever you like. Yeah, it's whatever you like. Mixed greens, anything that you like. Something you're going to look forward to eating. Just leave out anything like croutons or anything that would add added calories or fat. Or extra like full fat dressing, which is why we use this. Then with it, you would have a low fat or fat free dressing. We don't really like the taste of fat free, so we always go light. And this is the light Italian, but use whatever you enjoy. A tablespoon again. So a tablespoon of dressing on two cups of salad. And that is your meal plan for the day. So you've got five meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. However, there's a bonus. Bonus round. And we always did the bonus round. Don't forget. Yes. I'm sure you won't forget about the bonus round. Actually, for the first, I would say four or five months, we had a treat every single night. It was portioned. And we were like, whoa, we're like eating treats and losing 
wait steadily, this is really cool. So, bonus is coming up. Dessert and a snack. You can have it together or you can separate it. I like the idea of eating more food, so I eat it together. <laughs> a bag of Skinny Pop popcorn, which as you can see is 100 calories per bag. And you actually get quite a bit, like the bag is filled to here. So you get a good size. So a bag of Skinny Pop popcorn, single serve, and a serving of these cookies. These are dare. I'm not sure if, do they get, do you guys get dare in the States? They might get something similar. Anything that's like lower sugar, lower carb, lower a fat. Yeah, any reduced fat, reduced calorie type cookie, we usually did two. But guess what? The bonus of this, the serving size is four cookies. Oh yeah. So these are, <laughs> I was giving you the French side. These are Simple Pleasures Cinnamon Snaps. And they're baked with like the simple ingredients here, they're saying, which is hence the Simple Pleasures. But I wanna show you, four cookies is 120 calories, only three grams of fat, only six grams of sugar, and 21 carbs. For four cookies, that is crazy because Kyle and I literally checked every single box of every single cookie in the whole grocery store. Go and have fun with it too. Go in the grocery store aisle in the cookie yeah. aisle and go look for one that appeals to you. And we did. We would check buy... the serving size. Sorry to interrupt you. I just got excited over cookies. We bought, we bought several different kinds and we would be like, oh, we're having these today. Okay, you choose today what you want. And it was cool. We didn't even care that you were only getting like two because two cookies when we were like on a on a weight loss journey was like whoa that's cool i don't care i'll eat two cookies and it was like beautiful so four of these and they're a decent size yep. and you get four and popcorn and we ate, literally ate like this we ate this much food every single day and we l literally lost 130 pounds each and we lost weight steadily one to two pounds for the first few months. We lost our first 50 pounds pretty quickly. And we ate this, we went on dates, we took this kind of stuff, shh, don't tell the theaters, to the movies. We snuck it in. Get a big purse. <laughs> <laughs> Get a big purse, ladies, and shove it in there. So we, uh, we hope you enjoyed this. We loved this kind of food. We hope that you're excited. We're really excited to share this with you because we know it can be a little bit scary when you're starting a weight loss journey. And we wanted to tell you, we're, we were also really scared, but knowing that we could eat things like this, not giving up French fries, not giving up cookies or popcorn. We're real that people that ate real food. We could go on dates and go to movies and still eat and feel like we were eating popcorn with everybody else. We just ate Skinny Pop while they ate everything else. And it felt good and we were losing weight and getting healthier and enjoying our life. So just know, yes, it's a little bit scary. Yes, when you're on a weight loss journey, you do have setbacks, but that's normal. But love what you're eating. Set yourself up for success. Love what you're eating. Get foods that you like and you can do this. Know that you're not alone. Know that we're here with you and that this is exactly what we did when we first started and it literally saved our lives. It was the only thing that worked. It literally saved our lives. So, we love you. We're with you. Hope you enjoyed this, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch. Or what? Karate chopping my apple of doom. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool if you actually broke it in half. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, we wanted to tell you guys. Oh yeah! The recipe for the protein, chocolate chip protein pancakes, we're gonna link down below a, a meal prep video for you guys to check out. Yes, so if you wanna learn how to make that, it will be in the link below. There's also French toast in there, there's a yogurt recipe in yes, there. Yes, it's a breakfast meal prep. Yeah. What I just wanna say is that you won't see the unsweetened applesauce in that video because I only thought to add it 
after a couple weeks of making it and it the applesauce addition makes it fluffier and and moist more moist so you can choose to do it that way or you can add the applesauce in and you just splink it in with the rest of the stuff thanks for watching dudes and dudettes don't forget to like and subscribe okay i'll remember about the karate chop apple of doom thank you like <laughs> oh my god Clouds out <laughs> bye guys I'm going to leave it running and see what else he'll do. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs> our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it, friends. It has 40 family-friendly recipes. Not only is there a two-week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there.